Hey, what's going on YouTube? Kurosama here. And today we're taking a look at the high-end master model Kotobukiya Liger Zero. And this is the Marking Plus version. So I don't really know what to expect when it comes to these kits. I've never unboxed an HMM. I've never built one, obviously. I've never really handled one. I've seen them on a couple of my buddy's shelves because I had a few friends who were really into Zoids and they had a few of these. But me personally, don't know much about it. So this is a huge, huge box. And God, this illustration is just beautiful. Now a quick history lesson on this Zoid. Uh, this is the Liger Zero, and this is from the anime Zoid's New Century. The pilot is Bit, and I'm not really a big fan. Like, he's an okay character, but for the most part, uh, the anime was just kind of quirky, and it's a little bit cringy, but you know, it's, it's a kid's anime to sell toys, so what can you really do? But I am really sold on this Zoid. This is one of my favorite Zoids out of every single one spanning all the different series and universes and all that. Um, I just love the white color scheme and the bare bones um, like weapon set. All it really has is its claw and it has like a, I think a cannon right underneath. Um, I think it has a cannon on its tail as well. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Now looking on the side, it does retail at 6,300 yen. Um, really good luck on trying to get that price. I mean, there's places where you can get it cheap. I think I paid uh, 5,500 yen for this one at uh, Amiyami, so you could probably find it there. And I think it's about 5,300 yen over at Hobby Link Japan, so maybe it's worth going to check them out as well. And you do get some cool illustrations of it with all of its armor on and it without the armor. And I know someone mentioned to me exactly what the armor stuff is called. Like it's like different phasing armor. Not phasing, but in the anime they basically go into a docking station. They take the armor off and they put new armor on. Uh, so this is basically like the, the base Liger. Uh, and then this becomes a Liger Zero. I can't be wrong, uh, that's just kind of like what I remember from the show. Uh, but yeah, this is just like a base Liger, and then whenever you slap stuff on, then it becomes like the Liger Schneider or Liger, you know, Jaeger or something like that. And here is what I'm assuming a painted build of the Liger Zero. I don't think this is just the straight out package version, because uh, it does look like it has some panel lines and all that. But uh, regardless, it looks great. I am loving all the aesthetics. I, I just think it looks completely beautiful. Now this is the Marking Plus version, so you can get a bunch of water slide decals. And I had a conversation on Discord about this. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of decals on my Zoid. I think it looks really out of place, but the one I may use is going to be the Zero right there. I think I might use one or two of those, just throw it on like the hip or something. Um, but really, I'm not planning to use all these other ones, just because it really looks weird and out of place. Here we're gonna get a front and rear shot, and another front and rear shot without the armor. Here you can see the boosters open up, and here it is without the armor, but all the armor pieces laid out, which really isn't much. Now once opened, you're going to be greeted by a lot of runners. Uh, just on this one side, you got one, two, three packaging. On this side, you get one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, oh my god, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and finally thirteen. You also have the manual. And lastly, the water slide decal sheet. And we're gonna start off with runner A. This thing is going to pack a lot of inner frame details. I, like, there's a lot I can do with this. And it's a little bit overwhelming, but I'm going to do my best and, and make this as beautiful as possible. Next is gonna be runner B. Once again, some inner frame detail stuff, so looking super good. Um, honestly, it looks like it's gonna be a solid build, but uh, some of the pegs, the way they kind of are positioned, kind of looking a little shallow, that is kind of worrisome. And next is gonna be runner C, more and more inner frame. It feels like it never stops, but um, looking at the color, I'm probably just gonna go with the gunmetal. It, it really looks like it should be a gunmetal color. So you can get two runner Ds, and once again, it's more inner frame. Now I was thinking, uh, do I just do all gunmetal, or do I do gunmetal and light gunmetal, just to break up the color, and I think I might go that route. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I, I haven't really researched a lot of painted builds to see what the common kind of like paint job is when it comes to inner frame. 
uh, but I'll definitely take a look and see what people are really going for. Next is going to be Runner E, and you're going to get this light grayish color. Um, it looks good. I really don't mind it, but I think I want to add a little bit purple to it. Uh, so I'll, I'll try and keep it the same kind of like tone, but just a dab of purple into it. Uh, I think that's going to make it look a little bit better because I think purple just is a better looking color when it goes to white uh, than this kind of like plain bluish. Unless I, like, I'm, uh, I might make this like a light blue. I'm not really too sure. There's a lot of ideas I have in my mind when it comes to uh, painting this, but uh, we'll definitely see. But yeah, this is just like a little bit of armor. Next you're going to get two Runner Fs. Once again, more inner frame. Runner G, and this is going to be more inner frame connecting parts. Two Runner H, and you can see this is going to be for the paws, and you got some piping and stuff, so this is going to be interesting to color. Uh, obviously, some of it might be, um, I don't know, maybe like bronze or red or something. I don't know, but we will definitely be changing up the colors for some of this. Runner I, and you're going to get brown? Ugh! I am not a fan of this color, but I'm, I'm guessing once it's all built together, because I'm going to straight build it first, uh, just to see how it fits and where things go, uh, and then from there I'll go ahead and do my edits, but I think this is the cannon underneath it, yeah, it looks like it's the uh, cannon underneath the chest, so that might just be a different color, I don't even know what I'm going to go with, but brown just seems really weird, uh, but yeah, I don't know man, I'm just, I'm not really feeling the brown, I, I think this needs to be a different color but I don't have an idea it might be just gray or it could be black next we're gonna get this kind of golden bronze kind of shade uh, but you're gonna have it for the claws and then you're also gonna have it for the teeth so I I've been thinking about the teeth I don't like this color for the teeth I just I don't know it looks weird it, it looks kind of ugly I don't mind it for the claws to be honest uh, but for the teeth I'm like do I really want to go this route or do I want to make it silver um, do I want to make it a, a lighter tone? I don't know. I'll, I'll have to check. Next is going to be two runner K's, and this is actually going to be gold. This is a, a much brighter tone, uh, but this is going to be for like, your pipings, hydraulics. Uh, you got your um, shocks right here, so looks really good. A lot of painting is going to be done to this. Next is two runner L's, and these are all these little joint caps. I, I don't know the terminologies for all of it, but yeah, this is all like the caps that goes at the uh, the joints. Once again, that kind of light grayish color is going to be for the claws underneath. I don't know what these are for, but we'll definitely check it out once we uh, get the build going. Next is going to be runner N, and this is going to be your visor for the head unit. And you got some other clear orange parts right there. And next is going to be runner O, and we're finally getting on to the armor. Looks really good. It's kind of like a milky white color. It's not like a pure, you know, flat white. Uh, it's, it has like a, a milky, creamy texture to it. So, uh, I'm not really digging it that much. Like, I don't mind it, but I think I'm gonna go a pure white uh, and then have some off-white here and there on like the smaller armor bits, like, you know, these kind of things. Like, if it's a like, little small stuff, I'll do the off-white on those, but I think I'm just gonna keep this like a pure, pure white. And for Runner P, I'm presuming this is going to be Bit Cloud, not too sure. But yeah, the uh, pilot is broken up to two different parts. Uh, it's going to have the arms, uh, your t bottom torso legs, and then the uh, upper body. So yeah, uh, it's kind of cool, but oh, man, painting this is probably going to be a pain in the ass. I just don't really know exactly if this is Bit because it has like a helmet on, and I don't think Bit ever wore a helmet. It, like, it doesn't look like Bit at all, so I don't know if I'm going to paint this into a generic pilot. Or if I'm going to paint this like bit, but I'll do some research and see if they have it maybe in the uh, manual. Next is going to be another runner P and this is going to be more armor, all the same uh, tone white. So it's going to have that milky white. Uh, it's kind of weird that they don't have different shades of this armor, uh, but hey, it kind of is what it is, I guess. Next we're going to have is going to be runner Q's. So you're going to have these two that are going to be runner Q and you're going to have another two that are going to be runner Q. But uh, for this one, it's really just more armor, much, much like the other runner Q's. Uh, but this is going to have some pretty good surface detail, as you can see right here. Um, really just nice stuff that you can go ahead and fill in without a panel lining. Or if you want to, you know, paint a different shade of white or whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, it's going to have a lot of great opportunities. And lastly is the last two runner cues. So essentially this is just going to be more armor bits. That's pretty much it. And the last thing to show you is just going to be the manual. So not really too much going on. It's going to have information right here about the Liger Zero. And I guess it's laying out all the different uh, parts and gimmicks and such. 
Yeah, just illustration. It, this is a really good manual. Uh, I don't know what that is. I guess just for uh, missing parts. Yeah, so you can probably put in whatever runner you need and they'll ship it to you. Uh, but yeah, it's it's really not bad. And we got the runner layout. And here we go, actually into the instructions. So nothing really too crazy, just all your basic instructions. This is definitely a lot. I would say the shared magnitude of how much you're getting in this uh, one kit is equal to a really large master grade or a medium sized master grade. I would say mo mostly probably a, uh, eh, maybe a large master grade, eh, medium sized master grade. Uh, but yeah, once you get all the thing together, it's really not, it's not looking too bad. You get more just artwork, which I'm all about. I love seeing the artwork. Um, but yeah, then you get the color layout, so not too many colors, not as much as the uh, Schneider. I was taking a look at that earlier, uh, Earlier, sorry. Uh, but yeah, looks really good. Armor off, water slide decals on how to do that. And that's it. So that's it on the unboxing. Uh, I'm gonna get started on this right away, and like I said, I'm gonna straight build it and kind of just see exactly how the build layout is, and then from there I can go ahead and break it all down to its finer components and start the painting process. The painting itself really shouldn't last me more than a week and a half, and I'm hoping that this build does not last me more than a week. Uh, so we'll see exactly how long this will take me. I I'm kind of hoping on two weeks, so hopefully by the 15th I'll have the fully painted build done. But we will see, like I said, because this is a big kit, unknown territory, and I don't know exactly how long the painting process is going to take me, especially with detailing, weathering, and all the other crazy stuff we'll be doing to it. So um, if it does take longer than the time frame, so be it. I might not be able to get to the, uh, the Snyder, but I'll definitely try my best. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching, and just stay tuned for more Zoids goodness. But I'll be seeing you guys later, and... Just let me know on the uh, all, like anywhere on social media if you're building. Use that hashtag Zoids Month, and I can go ahead and check out your stuff. But I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye bye.